This morning, my son taught me a very important lesson, a lesson that everybody should heed for their YouTube future. This morning, my son was adamant that he wanted his squeaky little giraffe, the little toy. <laughs> he'd crawl across the floor, he'd scream, he'd shout, and if he's not getting it, he'd turn off and throw a paddy. Now imagine that's the YouTube algorithm. If you're not delivering what it wants, it's squeaky giraffe. Th then why does it want to share things out? This is the importance of knowing your audience. In my case, I had a screaming five, six month year old, right, really going full tilt, complaining and whinging and there's nothing else wrong with him. There's nothing else that would satisfy him. It's not his nappy, it's not his food, it's not some nursery rhyme on TV. It's not daddy singing, it's not daddy doing the baby shark dance, which used to be on this YouTube channel and I've probably hidden by now. But no, it was his squeaky giraffe. Now, as soon as I pandered to him, and gave him what he needed, as soon as I understood my audience and understood my avatar and delivered what I needed on a consistent basis, he then calmed down, enjoyed, wanted more, engaged with the world. Now, if you tailor that to a YouTube channel and you have a look at what your audience truly likes, go through your most recent videos, have a look at your most popular, have a look at the ones that performed the best within the first day, two, three days, seven days, and a month, for example, and go forward from there, what you're doing there is they're telling you what they want. They're telling you what things popped. Now, it could be news. It could be a specific style of tutorial. It might be a specific style of video. It might be me trying to look down so I don't step off a step and tw twist my ankle. It, it might be you ranting about you losing your laptop. It might be you educating people in a 14, 15 minute long video. Whatever seems to do well, they clearly want more of. So pander to that audience and deliver more. There's no point in your audience being really, really happy to see your cake baking videos and then you go off and knit jumpers for the next 30 videos. You're going to lose your audience. And the longer you do not deliver what they want, the less likely they are to calm down and stop crying and crying. And I'm, I'm talking about my son again. Also, from a YouTube standpoint, if the knitting videos do really, really well on your channel, and then you go off and do money videos, and then you go off and build a house, and then you're driving a car, it's confusing the YouTube algorithm and it doesn't know what to deliver. It doesn't understand who your audience are and it can't go out and satisfy them either. So, if you know who your audience are, you know what content you can make for them and you lean into what does well, it will do well for you and growing your audience in the long run. And then of course, communicate with them, engage with them, ask them, use the community tab, those kind of things. If you want more help with engagement, check out this video here. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted every time I upload a video. And no, still no update on my laptop. Wonderful.